What's up guys? This is the Wolfman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of, Bavar of Bavaria. And in this episode we are being attacked by the garrison at Fort Nashwax. Let's get ready to destroy them. We have two armies, so one will be able to withstand the garrison and the other will be ready to follow up against any attacks southwest. Uh, but my focus is still trying to get my armies down to down towards uh, the Indian frontier as quickly as possible and we are building up our strength in in uh, near St. Petersburg sorry who will sail and land in India to the south uh, the east yes the east so let's deploy my rockets I don't get enough use out of them deploy my howitzers all my artillery can frankly can open up on the mortars because I am not concerned about advancing into their right up into their faces because their army is largely a composite of militia anyway so i've not deployed one of my guns built jaeger on the right a skirmish cav general in the center i got my cuirassier and my cuirassier regiment taxis <laughs> on the left looking good and my general pretty spiffy with his experience swarm 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 run my felt jaeger up because they might be able to get some good shots off where's my rockets open fire load i do <laughs> i do love the rocket animation And away we go. They're going to go straight into the mortars, but... And do not very much. Run my Felt Jaeger up again to engage the mounted tribal auxiliary. That's a good volley. So hold position. My infantry is pushing up. My cavalry advance around so now the battle lines are being drawn we forced back the tribal auxiliary but these aren't just any old infantry uh, cavalry these are cavalry that outrange regular infantry so you can fall back if you like we'll go and get you begin folding in the flanks slam the cavalry into the militia Come on, Fel Jaeger, reload. Put another volley into the tribal auxiliary. They're engaging us now. Let's deploy one howitzer to continue firing. Large enemy route. I mean, to be expected, really. They are an army of militia, so. Shattered. The water crew have finally abandoned any pretense they had on actually attacking us. I mean, not unexpected, and it's. Yeah. We've got a significantly more experienced and advanced army versus very much a ragtag unit of militia. Oh, sorry. My, my, my guys. Fire it well on. You're going to fire at the garrison militia when the when you guys reform. Keep the targets attacking the 3rd Regiment. Yeah, so this is part of the part of the impact of breaking everyone's morale so ruthlessly is that they do like coming back yeah, I suppose the general can chase down the militia you guys come over here yeah, tribal auxiliary is recovered fire it will off let's get to the top of the ridge line before you engage 
Cursier engaging the tribal auxiliary. Give them orders to engage the tribal auxiliary. Make ready. Fire. Shattered again. Rockets may cause some friendly fire. But yeah, these guys... They never really stood much of a hope. We're going to continue. Cease fire the artillery. It's a bit cruel. But if it gets us some good experience with our cavalry commanders, including potentially more from my general... Okay, let's try bring you guys across to attack them. Of course, I've turned fire at will for my cavalry off. Just because it's generally easier. <laughs> uh, while I know that cavalry could potentially chase people down and shoot them with their uh, with their ranged weapons, it causes more problems than it's worth at this stage of a battle. Because more often than not, you just kill your own guys. Okay, it's over here is the last remaining unit. Now everyone, get involved. And they're all down. So that's a uh, United... Uh, 13 colonies garrison down. The loss of very few men. The Mughals are likely going to start pushing armies up to our front. Well, I suppose it depends, actually, if they're... What their relationship with the... Persians looks like it looks like a lot of tr areas we can upgrade in in uh, in Hispaniola. Okay, keep you pushing on. You're going to begin converting Afghanistan. Ah, there's the Mughal army. So let's make sure. I mean, you can try. I suppose you might be better off going to. Nagpur. Eventually we're going to start doubling up, so I'm going to forget where I've given these guys orders to move to. Mr. Farber. Push on toward Afghanistan. This army... Friedrich Farber. Oh god, Balazar and Friedrich. Got to keep you guys both together. So we've got a large enemy concentration to the south, which we will deal with. I just want to make sure that some of my oh, my armies are replenishing. Um, push on Zahedin. These men force. Give them an order to push up to this crossing point. Yeah, because look, these guys have run out of orders. You're going to loop around. I don't really want you to do that. You'll go cover this crossing point. How's my road building? My road building's good. Yeah, it's a bit problematic getting all these troops down to the front. But we must stick with it. Okay, let's get some building done. Fairly sure, for the most part, my infrastructure is done. Knock out a few of these areas that we've not yet upgraded. I mean, the sloop, that, that but ship can stay there as far as I'm concerned. It will it is not required anywhere else. Strictly speaking, I should probably scupper it. But then again, I don't think money is quite so tight. My ministers all have orders, so that's okay. I think for the large part, what I need to do at some point is just grind end turns. So you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, three turns till you're ready. Again, I'm okay with that because it's going to take me a while to get my troops into position in India anyway. Just keep dropping upgrades pretty much everywhere. We want it such that we 
I've spent all there is to spend. Get these gunners up to this artillery fort. Got lots of stuff to upgrade. Let's recruit a general here. Philip Weisberg. Get you to Istanbul, then hop across the strait. And get you just to make your way down here as well. They may be a bit vulnerable, but the idea is I could use them to garrison problematic cities and allow my infantry to push up. Good, good, good. Got a lot of territories here that need upgrading, but fortunately a good number of them are upgrading to decent level buildings. You men are a bit superfluous. Bring you guys back to Munich. A couple of steam plowed cloth mills that haven't been built. I mean, we might be struggling to spend all of our money, but we're going to try. I mean, you, you may as well stay where you are. My agent. Again, you reach a point where you... I, I don't really need to prioritise or focus on military research kind of at all really just let the research happen ah that is a use for you garrison Severomorsk okay so this all needs to keep ticking on up here in the Americas so we've taken Fort Nashwak you men replenish could push, but I'm inclined to see what happens. Will we draw the 13 colonies towards us? That's what I'd like to see. Uh, Nassau needs to be taken. Got a lot of upgrades here. Again, I think with the with the Bavarian Bavarians, you need to focus on Europe. So that's why lots of these areas are not terribly uh, out of shape, but they certainly aren't in the best condition. Keep on upgrading just straight across the board. Maybe I'll add a bunch more resources to our trade empire, but then again, do we really have slash need a trade empire? Hey, we are going to spend all our money. Nice. So you're in good condition. You will probably sail and take the pirates out. Well, I can't recruit anything which is unfortunate but I can bring sloop over here you men embark Mr. Frankfurter I mean that's not really a fight Chomp. let's destroy the shipyards we're not really interested in that so next turn we'll need to spend some money getting this place up back together then we will take out Nassau to destroy the pirates for good. That was the main action. Trinidad was a sideshow. Okay, good. Let's hit end turn. Get everyone moving forward. Well, the people that I've not moved, get them moving forward another turn. Including my agents. But I think I am going to start being limited on... Just, oh yeah, lots of these guys have long walks. Yeah, I'm going to start... Yeah, they are pushing up. But not in great force. Louisiana comes in clutch and opens up our ports. That's pretty tasty. Yeah, the Mughals... Oh, looks like the Mughals must have access through Persian lands. So they're advancing towards us. That's interesting. It will be their doom, it must be said. Yeah, blockade me as much as you like. As much as you like. 197,000. Pretty tasty. So again, the sooner we go down this cycle, the sooner... We've upgraded everything we can upgrade. 
the Grand Opera House. We don't need research points anymore. Clearances. Actually, I might move one of these agents up to one of the armies. Malta. Uh, yes, you require redeployment. Chris Traeger. Maybe use a battle fleet. Well, question is, do they hate us? Yeah, they really don't like us. So you better stay where you are. Ports, ports, ports. Okay, hop back up to here. Marshall Schlock is where we were. Uh, yep, yeah, got this army attacking the native peoples, but I don't think they're going to like us after one turn. So we've got that, Max, Max, St. Petersburg. Get a naval hospital, so not super bothered about a steam dried arc. Major fishing port. And part of the reason why I like to spam upgrades to all my other military buildings is that if I do get caught out... Oh, I've got to fight the Persian. I will fight them this turn. But yes, I like to upgrade all of my territories in the event that we do get caught out and the enemy lands somewhere inconvenient. So you're going to sit into Iasi. Barely shots probably... Well, not all of the stuff we need to upgrade. Excellent. So let's hop down to Europe. Well, because there's a particular characteristic with the Persians. If you attack, if Sahid is their last territory, and you attack it and take it, Afghanistan becomes independent. So it becomes questionable if I want to, if I want to take Kabul before or after I take Zahedin. I think the I think the thing to do is to sit within range and just fight them until reinforcements get closer. Everyone else has orders. Apart from you, I suspect it's because you're getting blocked. You're having to manoeuvre around everyone. Everyone else has orders, but let's take, take Sigismund. First of all, let's move up. They don't intercept us, so I can bring you up to reinforce. And this will be the last strength the Persians really have on the field to try and stop us. But that won't really work. We'll push them back. Then we'll... well I want to try and bring my force up to the... Into the uh, I can't remember which, which river it is up in the northwest of India. Because there are limited crossing points, I want to build up there, see if I can get a few river battles to, to draw down or weaken their front line, then land in Calcutta, then we go on the attack. Interesting. Let's get my guns here, they're going to line up here and fire down the hill. So I'll have an infantry line to cover them. Because, oh god, don't forget, we do have re enemy reinforcements. Unit at four there. My two Jaegers are going to be in between the formations. Spread my cavalry out. Howitzers support the main line. That's pretty good, actually. Bring my guns up to the high ground. Let's suspect the AI... Ooh, actually I may want to limber you guys up. Limber my infantry here, push the flank. At speed, cavalry advance. Well, I suspect I want to limber up so I can pull the guns around here and shift my infantry like so. Bring my guns directly away. Or directly along my line. 
Right, you guys need to run with all speed. Because this is a lovely position to bombard them. Get my skirmishers to deploy in. Where do I hear charges? Yes, look at this for a enemy, a block of enemy infantry. Make sure my gen my grenadiers stay in position though. Shrapnel shot. Oh yes, the slaughter. If I had quick line, that'd be even better, but I accept the utility in redeploying my uh quick line. Stop them being quite so easily caught out. Get my hussars out on the right flank. My enemy native lancers. The grenadiers are going to be on guard mode. Gunners engage the lancers. Everyone else just blast the enemy front line. Yeah, here comes the enemy native lancers. Fighting native lancers, you're fighting the general's bodyguard. Maybe there goes the general's bodyguard. Push the infantry up and assume our cavalry wins, which it should. Skirmishers are doing some good job. They're doing a good job here. They're protecting their guns, they're a bit more vulnerable. I mean, my gunners are just elite. Wait till my howards is getting into position, then you'll really be for it. Just a second. Apologies, I had a bit of a cough. Oh, such beautiful slaughter. God bless Shapra Sharp. Format my cavalry. Oh, it says already. Unlimber. Fire at will. Team of Levy. So my cavalry will form up. Get my gunners to. Tr well, my, my, you, one unit of my gunners to focus on their cavalry. they could potentially scupper us. And my howitzer's reloaded. They have. Quick climb away. Oh, hey, the camels. Oh, Jesus. It's nearly a whole unit of camels gone in one go. General's bodyguards come back. You men are going to pour fire onto the levee. And yet, there they go. Yeah, they're not, they're not, the enemy isn't done. Well, the reinforcements aren't done anyway. They are effectively done. Probably a mass cavalry charge on this infantry formation here. Focus on the Israeli, because they, they can form square. So if we can break them before they can form square. As the lances dip. Send men flying. Hussars are in. This may be a bridge too far. General's bodyguards coming in to assist. Well, second general's bodyguards coming in to assist. Make sure my gunners are engaging appropriate targets. The native lancers are also coming over here. You can see them. They come straight for this combat. 
They're winning decisively. It may be a bit of a gamble. Let's throw some of my melee infantry in. Advance up my line. Pick some more suitable howitzer targets. My grenadiers will tear through the disarray pretty quick. Must admit, this was a bit of a gamble. It looked good there. So get my grenadiers to clear out the disarray. Still got a couple of units back here up in the enemy rear, but if we can knock out the 36th, then we push on into the back of the 28th. These men are holding the line. Let's pull you guys back, chamfer off that corner. Yeah, my grenadiers will surround and destroy the 28th. That will cause them to break and run. Then we can throw them in to support the cavalry. Because the numbers are going down. We've got about 100 men left. Got any men. Make ready and load against that last unit of water. You men knock out the 28th. Gonna switch to round shot. Bombard the seventh. Gunners provide some support to the left flank. <laughs> you get tired. My cavalry isn't there very much blown on this one. Skirmishes advance. Infantry advance. I suppose they are elite. Then again, so are my guys. Good volley into the fourth. They didn't expect skirmishes to stand up to the and get stand to stand up to them. Ah, the infantry here broke. Push into that combat. My general can mop up the 28th. There we go. Very much have destroyed my cavalry in that charge. The infantry charge will make it okay. Let's probably push you guys. When this combat is fixed, they will collectively attack the infantry on that ridge. Let's get them to attack around. It appears they don't want to actually attack. The heavy cavalry can now get involved. Yeah, advance the musketeers up. I can start advance my light infantry up. I can start to pick off the flanks of the musketeers. <laughs> yeah, these are two full strength cavalry units that are now down to 50 men collectively. advance against that infantry block. Excellent. You men halt. Blast the Kizabashi don't go into the enemy infantry. Skirmishers push up. Gunners engage the general's bodyguard. Two to heavy cavalry will knock out the 15th. And the rest of his infantry will go down to such magnificent musket fire. Switch my switch my howitzers to round shot. Don't want my, don't want my foot artillery. Let's get my howitzers in the action. Starting to they're going to fire into the combat. That's an interesting strategy. General's bodyguard looks like they're going to attempt something similar. We'll accept charge into it. 
Advance my infantry up, push the cavalry up. You're gonna go after my. You're gonna go after my uh, skirmishes. At the very least, I'm gonna get you with a bit of shrapnel. Is that a smart idea? Keeping the shrapnel shot firing against the general's bodyguard? I'm gonna say no. Yes, and I was right. Push, 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 push. Push right up into their face. Gunners engage the seventh. It appears we have managed to make them abandon their rock. Okay. Fairly sure the 39th will not be long for this battlefield. No, there they go. So these men push the flank. How it says engage the enemy. Demon storm up. Push, push, push. Put artillery engage the 32nd because they're in good condition. Skirmishes. Sit there. Everyone who isn't cavalry, form up. You guys both attack the 20th because they're all that remain. I got a good amount of ammunition left across the board. Yep, you're going to break almost immediately. Yeah, there you go. Snatch the 32nd. Yep, they've broken too. Back to the 20th. Yeah, you're, you've taken a bit of a rollicking as well. Nice. Excellent. Good. I'm just making sure that, that General's bodyguard unit in the centre of the map uh, hadn't come back. Okay, lost 762 men, killed nearly 5,500. Grenadiers. Grenadiers taking top kills. Nice. Bye bye, Persia. It's nice knowing you. See so you men replenish and push up. You men push down to the coast. Prevent them from breaking out. Got a large Persian fleet here, which I don't care about. You're on to attack Zahedan. You're going to attract Indian fire here. You've all got your orders, so check. Yep. So one thing I do want to do is upgrade you. So let's move these artillery out, move the heavy artillery in. And let's get two Grenadier Guard, two Grenadier Lieb infantry, two Fusiliers, and two more regular, regular units of line. Create another army that can go up and attack Reykjavik. Take that away from the uh, from the Mughal Empire. It's worth doing, I believe. Oh, still got some bits and pieces, but I think largely we've probably got. No, got some ports. Okay, right. And over here. Trade port, large sugar plantation, repair the state capital, repair the infrastructure. Mr. Frankfurter, can they leave? They can leave. You men embark. Sail for Nassau, because they won't have much there anyway, because they're pirate nations. Send a fifth rate over to Trinidad. Ships 
Uh, they've got something, actually. Be interesting. Let's see if they attack us. You're going to raid Grand Bahama. Ooh, they, they might kill you. Race built galleon, that's possible. Oscar Holtz, confident general. Good stuff. 25 years old, mentioning dispatches, steady under fire, and a confident general. Got troops here in Persia itself. Let's get them replenished. One more turn to get rifled cannons. And not a lot else after that. Keep everyone moving on. Yeah, the infantry are continuing to advance. A lot of firepower going north. Here come my priests. Oh, glorious priests spent spreading the fantastic word of Catholicism to the Indian peoples. Everyone knows what they could do with a bit of Catholicizing. More ships. Okay, now the 13 colonies are coming on. Let's get ready to push them back. Persia's fortifying around Kabul, oh, not Kabul, around Zahedin. Mughals are advancing. Quebec's time will soon be upon them. They've not attacked us outside Nassau, that's perfect. That means we get a bit of time, just to get a bit of replenishment. Rifle cannons, we've got on sheet lead cartridges. That itself is not a problem either. Oh god, I haven't done much upgrading here in Spain. Cartagena needs a sloop. God, my economic reforms haven't rolled out very far at all. Complicated, whatevs. There we go, more money, more armies, more firepower. See, you're all gonna see, you are just going to sit here and replenish and not attack the pirates. Man, there's so much stuff to upgrade. This is where we're booming. Nice. Officer on deck. Aye, sir. So that's six, you need eight, you need your two, well, sure it's two. Actually, you're all here. So. I don't need to worry about being efficient in terms of movement. Oh, I kind of do, actually, because you can't get there. Nuts. Let's, we can move two at a time, let's do that. Two at a time safely. Might be being overly cautious. But I really do not want armies getting caught out in the open, so. Okay, you may end up. You're putting into Belfast. Put another army into Newcastle. The next turn they will be shipped across. Yes, you're holding. You may push to the northern crossing point. You are going to push up to reinforce this fellow. You can advance up to see if you can trigger any attacks. You may cross or push down to the south. Keep on pushing as planned. I mean, it's sorely tempting to just go for Zahedan because that will knock out the Persian army, which means I can just run you guys straight shot through to Nerun, which I think I may do. First of all, let's attack Zahedan and see if I'm fairly sure that's how it works. I take Zahedan, 
Afghanistan becomes independent, which means Persia is destroyed. Which would be very convenient because there'll be two armies that could push up towards Narun. It may cause uh, the enemy, the Mughal Empire, to send more um, Indian armies against us on that front. But that's good. The sooner they can, the sooner they run into our muskets, the sooner they die. Keep my guns fire. Ooh, that's a nice bit of high ground. A lot of Indian mercenaries in this army. They've hired out of desperation to protect them, but I'm afraid it will not save them. Skirmishes wide. Skirmish cavalry on either flank. Interesting. Understandably, they do not wish to face us in the open field. Limber them up. Focusing on the native lancers, not a bad outcome because they are right there. Skirmishes advance up. Chevrolet will also be able to help. Howitzers are limber, limbered up. Howitzers advance. General advance with them. I may try and steal. No, I was going to try and steal one gun. Stay mobile. I want to stay near the first low foot. Oops, sneezing coming. Oh, must have a cold or something coming on. There you go, they've committed. Chevrolet Leger. My light infantry fired a volley. Chevrolet Leger. Engage. Skirmishes just form up and get ready to fire. I mean, always try and run. Get my gunners to try and help them out. My infantry's in no position to do anything about it. No cavalry. Run. You outrun camels. They keep. St it's not my skirmish mode screwing me, is it? I mean, I know my definitely my own artillery didn't help there, but there wasn't a lot else I could really do. They weren't running. Oh well. They're dead to me. Although I may... Ooh, are you being spurred on by that victory? They are storming towards my infantry line. Yes, Chevalier. Come back. You're going to form square. My Chevrolet are going to come back. Drop some... The artillery's missing a lot. So begin... Ooh, mortars firing quick lime shot. Not ideal. How are they going to hit? Are they going to hit bad? Are they going to hit, hit their own troops? Nice. Slam shots into troops behind the line. How it says form up. And a lot of routing. 
regiment of foot, push up. Chevaugeur, push up. General's bodyguard attack. And the nomad, they're shattered, but going to do a huge amount. Gunners engage the dervishes on the flank. You're going to be getting hit by the regiment of foot. How it says Unlimba. Charge the mercenaries into the. Might not the mercenaries. Michel Villager into the 41st quarter. They can form square, but they're electing not to. Charge my cavalry in on the right flank. I mean, lots of troops here just seem to be. Really trying. Really trying to swarm me, and that's always a bit of a gamble. Doge is going down quite quickly because of their low defense. Ooh, and the artillery fire is not helping. Engage that unit of camels. Hey, you've mowed down that unit of cavalry infantry there. Who are they? Kizilbashi. Push up. Nice. How it says, just keep engaging. Cavalry, the cavalry looks like they're attempting to try and break the deadlock. We might actually be able to, because some of our infantry units in the center are a bit. Knackered is the only way to put it, especially if I'm pretty sure a contributing factor is my artillery fire. And both deploy square. Colonial line can charge the mercenaries. Gunners may be guard engaged in, in guard. How it says to focus on these infantry units on the flank. You're in square, okay. You form line. Let's wheel backwards. Goes the infantry. Let's get out of here. Colonial line, counter charge the levy. Camel gunner should fall. You got seen off by you know, mercenaries. You're going to hold your position against what's coming next. Yeah, your square broke. You can break your square and drive on into the infantry that charged you to the flank. On the flank. Speaking of cavalry. Ooh, stakes. Get up here. Knock out those mortars. Infantry form up. You men push up and engage the unpopulous. Those are shattered, so that's okay. Very sure my artillery definitely didn't help us there. Of course, it's a lot of casualties. But it also does highlight the impact of having a fairly infantry heavy army, and that your cavalry force is very, very vulnerable. These guys need to nail it straight ahead, ignore as much as possible, don't go straight in because of all the stakes. 
They should have more, they're probably going to have more shots coming down on them soon. I mean, how it's his number up. Okay, now you're here. Well, no, you're not here yet. Push through. Firelock arm populace is in trouble. Oh, it's uh, switched around shot. Engage the 37th. Engage the 8 inch mortars. Hiya! How about you? Even in to attack the arm populace. Get the general's bodyguard to steam in here as well. Are you shooting? No, you aren't shooting. It's a 1v1. It's a 2v1. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, bring the cavalry over on the left because they've routed. Yeah, with three howitzer batteries engaging them. Now two full infantry units attacking them. Yep, they've broken too. They gave us a good fight though. Still, it's another territory for the Bavarian Empire. Another step on the road to victory. Yet another step. So the question is, will we get kicked out? Yes, we did. Because Kabul is neutral. Should have figured that. Diplomacy, Afghanistan, indifferent. I don't care. Declare war. We could have uh, attempted to make peace with them or to make them part of our empire, but I have no interest in doing that. We are here to conquer, and conquer we shall. So you're. That's not a bad result, actually. So all of you guys have lost your original orders. I want one of you to go north to cover that access road. You're continuing south. Actually, all these guys weren't even in the territory anyway, so they have all their orders. You're going to have a look at what's in Srinagar. This agent's going to go on to Lahore. Ah, I see two... Generals. Kablamo! Got right. Well, we've already seen the rifle cannons. Discretion versteht sich von selbst. Nicht möglich, Sir. Euer Lord hört. It looks like we need to just start <laughs> knocking out Indian generals. That's two of their generals killed in one go. Im Dienste eurer Majestät. Wie kann ich euch dienen? Yeah, you can push. Oh, okay. You no, you don't go to Srinagar. You go to Barabad. Push through. We can already see they've got copious troops here waiting for us. We've done all of this, largely. So you're ready to advance. So again, I could be a bit more aggressive in the Americas, but I don't think it's super warranted. I'm going to dismantle the iron mine, so they're happy to raid. There you go, you may be able to intercept them. I don't mind if they attack us, I'm happy for the fight. But I want to get some end turns done so I can push more in India. That's that's what I'm really looking to do. Uh, Siege them. Here come more armies. More priests. Oh, there's a couple of buildings I've not upgraded. Well, I suppose if my army is now stopping in England, or Great Britain and United Kingdom, uh, I don't want to intercept. Do you like... <laughs> Hello, what's this? Interesting, you have elected to land in front of our lines rather than behind it. They want peace, they're not going to get it. Sorry, Afghanistan. 
coming to get you. They may well break, try and break out of Nassau and attack us. Nope. Apparently not. Enemy raid in the mines. That's that's okay. Okay, you're going to build the church school. Yeah, they really don't like us being here. But I'm hoping once we convert them to Catholicism, that will really help. Ports are being blockaded. Lots of good construction. We don't really have to go quite so ham on grading absolutely everything we, we've got now. I suspect even you can leave Persia, which you can. You're going to go kick them out of Bandar Abbas. You're going to get this repaired because we would like a fleet down here, really. You can nearly get to Afghanistan in one turn. You're pushing forward. Good. Are there any more armies hiding for us behind the front line? There, there are. Yeah, we'll trade trying to go. Let's see what's up to the north. Get into a diaper. Then our uh, priest here. Get on to a medabad. Can you guys push out? You can. So, actually, I'm, well, I may not want to. No artillery. Interesting choice. But you're going to get smacked into by this army under Sigismund. You're going to get given get an order to push on towards the front. As are you. And now oh, this is Sigmund. Smash into a barrage you can. So we won the first actual battles against the Mughal Empire on the front line near India. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time, next time for the continuing adventures of Bavaria. Cheers everyone. Mm -hmm.